Hello everybody, welcome to Trivia 254 tonight. I'm your host, my name is Betty Ann. Such a pleasure to have you guys here today. I hope you guys are ready to play today's game. I'm gonna ask you guys to go down below for a buy yourself a life or two or three and get ready for the game because once you flunk a question, we don't want you to be eliminated at any point. We need you to keep playing till the very last question and if you get to answer all the 12 questions correctly, what do you do? You get to walk away with cash. So, I hope you're ready. Today's topic is all about coronavirus. You know, this thing has been tormenting our lives. It's been what? A month and six days in Kenya since the lockdown. It's so crazy. I am feeling the effect. But we are here to keep you interested. I hope mkosawa mkochonjo sasa, yeah? So, I'll dive straight to question number one. How long does the coronavirus survive um, outside the body? Is it up to two and a half weeks, several hours to days, or a week in the air and on surfaces? How long does it take? Yani iki tu to shambiwa. If you can remember, this is the first information we were given about how long it survives on CG plastics, metal, all the different kinds of surfaces. So how long is it? <laughs> several hours to days. You guys, that's the reason you need to go when you touch something, you sanitize. When you go to do you have to wash your hands. To maybe well, wash your hands. <laughs> you know the job. <laughs> you need to wash your hands every time just to protect yourselves and those you love. Bringing us to question number two. What's more important for preventing infection? So is it wearing a face mask? Never leaving your house or frequent hand washing? So all of them are applicable, don't be tricked, all of them are applicable. The question is asking which is more important. Yeah, I hope you got it right. It is simple, Sana. Of course, it is frequently washing your hands. I just gave it away with the previous question. We're telling you to wash your hands. <laughs> yeah? You need to wash your hands every time. It will prevent you from getting the disease. Question number three. What percentage of people confirmed to have the COVID-19 develop mild or moderate symptoms? Ni percentage gani? Waki patatuka? How many? Is it 40, 20 or 80? Half the time you're being told, listen to your body. How are you feeling? Da da da. It is, of course, 80% because ni kama homa, you start feeling fatigue, you start feeling like you're, I don't know, tired, yeah? You, I don't know, you just develop certain symptoms, your body aches, different stuff. So do pay attention to how you're feeling and if you feel different, just seek medical assistance, okay? Alright, so question number four, what is a fomite? Tunajwa fomite ni nini? Is it a disinfectant? an immunity supplement or a contaminated object. I'm sure it's like to call for my to before. <laughs> this is one of those questions we keep saying that you learn new things when you come up here on trivia every day. You learn something new like I'm learning about this <laughs> with you guys today. For those who don't know, team guess what? <laughs> so for my it is a contaminated object. And for that matter, let's just take a pose, eh? If you don't have an extra life, go ahead and buy it now. You can already tell. Yeah, you might know about the coronavirus. Like, you love the huna ujuzi water. You know, you don't know everything. So do buy a life to keep yourself safe. Uh, till the very last question, because we have a couple more to go. And question five is, what's a safe distance to stay apart from someone who is sick? At least one foot, at least at least six feet. I'm a fit tattoo. Nigani. Uh, it's a matter of you know converting meters to feet. Because if you you go to supermarket, you want to go If you go to Jewa, it's written everywhere, which is about 1.5 meters, honey, which translates to one foot. Okay. One foot away from everybody, that is social distancing, my friend. <laughs> that is what we call it. Okay, so question number six. Global markets 
what was a record set in March by the stock market sell-off. Market closure, first 20% drop or the record low level. Of course, Corona is affecting a lot of our economy and not only as a country, not only as a continent, but as a globe. Yani, it has hit us hard <laughs> and it <laughs> doesn't seem like it's going away anytime soon, which is frustrating, but we have to work through this. So the answer is the first is 20 percent drop okay so question number seven how much have the global governments pledged in the economic stimulus for the COVID-19 what may pledge pesangapi is it almost one trillion two trillion and three trillion at, at least yamushani at least three trillion pay attention yeah so the uh hmm. Do I give you a minute? No, come on. Guess what? Come on, do it. How do it? How to do it? And the answer is at least three trillion. Yes, that much money is being allocated. We've already used. I don't know how. Is it a trillion already? No, I think a billion. A trillion could be. I'll confirm and let you know in the next trivia. The problem is a Google took it to check your name, Mambo. And <laughs> question number eight. Okay, a few more to go. How soon can a vaccine of COVID-19 be commercially available? At least 12 months, six, 16 weeks, some are at least 48 months. Then, yeah? how long does it take for this vaccine to be commercially? Commercially, that is, <laughs> that's the word. I know, eco-testing phase, to Shaskia, but how long will it be until it's commercially available? The, the answer is 12 months, which is a year. It's going to take that long. That's what I'm saying. Strap up. Strap up your boots. You need to make sure you have a source of income that is temporary for now. Do something with yourself. Try and read, you know, GK Vizuri this quarantine. Learn one, two, three. Pick up a skill. Do some, you know, do some with yourself, girls and men. Question number nine. Who is at risk of developing severe COVID-19 diseases? The highest. <laughs> keywords, keywords, guys. The highest risk. Is it a pregnant woman, a child, or people over 60 years? Imnajua. Jota niwa Kenya mulishinda mkisema. Even you the answer right there. Of course, it is people over 60 years. Yes, it's so protect your people. That's what I told. Don't go to your country and peleka the ugonja to your shusha and your guka. That's no right. The immunity is weak. <laughs> okay, so we need to make sure we listen to what we're being told. Huh, another interesting question for today: Can I, can my dog give me COVID nineteen? Yes, no, never. <laughs> what is the correct answer? Can we eliminate one already? How is it? A, how, how how do you know it's a never? Let me ask you. How do you figure? It, how do you figure it out that it's a never? It can mutate. It's a virus. It can freaking mutate. So the answer for now is no, which is a good thing. Junina paka nyumbani ni bepewa stress drill paka. What are the things you covered? So I was really happy when this message was brought out because I know my cat can give me no disease and so can yours. So, yeah, two more questions for today. And we are done. Even that, that fast, we're already two questions left, guys. So, question number 11 is, can the COVID-19 virus spread in hot and humid climates? No, maybe, yes. Which one is it? How is Kenya's weather? Is it hot? Is it humid? Is Corona in? Another simple question about the COVID. The answer is definitely. <laughs> Sorry, even yes. Duh. Yes, African countries have contracted this disease. To look at another need to save. Ancestors were made to protect. <laughs> Here we are, hustling like the rest of the world. Because yes, the COVID can affect hot and humid areas. And the last question for the win for today's game show is how much aid are. Um, uh -huh. How much aid are the World Bank and the World 
health organization pledging to support African countries. So World Bank na WHO is a non is it a known amani to twelve billion dollars. Of course I almost gave you the answer. <laughs> But of course, yeah, we need. What does the okay? What's the role of the World Bank? What's the role of WHO in this current situation? Champua swali do patejibu because it's right there. It's right in front of you. Because the answer for today's win is. 12 billion dollars okay that's how much money has been pledged y'all it's a lot of money this is a pandemic even to some what like you know what we're gonna emerge out of this better greener environment you know so congratulations to today's win uh winners winner of winners sijuni wangapi congratulations so much so we do play here at the tree on the tv app every day currently we're working at 9 p.m but you will get notified on your phone every evening before the game begins so do look out for that and i will see you tomorrow do stay sharp